Hey guys, Kareem here, back again with another fireworks video for you. This is the i18 module by Ignite. As you can see there, if you know what it looks like, you know what it looks like. So here I have like 18 um, Talon igniters that I had used already previously hooked up to it that I used to shoot off fireworks. But what I've done is I cut the ends off just because they are already used and I wanted to repurpose these wires here. So what I'll be doing is cutting three slots up here where I have these um, markers that I made and I'll be making three slots just like I have here by using these ends here. And you know these ends are easy clip clip on wires. They're like speaker box terminals that I got from Amazon. I got five in a pack as you can see. And what I went ahead and did with this one is to bend the wires up and cut them and I'll be soldering these wires to these wire ends here. So I'll have 18 different cues, one through 18, just like it is here. And what I'll be using to cut the top here, just so I can have the cues just like these lined up here, is a Dremel tool. And if you don't know what a Dremel tool is, it's like a mini saw blade, so to speak. So I'll be cutting the top and having these screwed on up here, just so I can quickly access, um, you know, the the um, ports or the cues without have to opening this uh, Pelican case. If you didn't know, this is the Pelican 1050 case that I got from Amazon as well, which I modified. I drilled a hole at the top and put the antenna up there so yeah i'll be converting it so for now i'm gonna be cutting these little parts off and then i'll be soldering the wires on these um little wire ends here all right so i just went ahead and cut this one with the dremel tool off as you can see it's even on both sides this one hasn't been cut as yet this is what it had looked like before bending the wires up and also before cutting these little plastic um, guides off. So this is what it looks like now. So now I'll be uh, going ahead and cutting a hole in this section here. Sorry if I'm not able to record the process of me cutting the um, holes or cutting these things off because I don't have my tripod at the moment so I'm not able to you know stand the phone up but i'll definitely show you the end product of what it looks like all right so i've went ahead and cut the hole in it as you can see it's not all that the best hole the best rectangular hole that you have ever seen and this is what it would look like that's what it would look like there guys as you can see so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the holes for this side here as well in this one just so I can add the remaining um, six uh, terminal slots here at the top all three of these um, let me get this off all three of these uh, terminal clips um, port here have been cut and dealt with as you can see might not look neat right now and this is the box the pelican case that I've modified so now once I clean everything up and start putting these um, terminal clips in here then things will look much much neater so for now this is what it looks like and I'll be showing you a after video of everything after I soldered everything. Then I'll show you everything, how it looks and how it functions. 
So this is what my um, custom mod looks like right now. My custom case with the um, outer um, terminals just so I can easily clip the um, Ignite wires or the MJG wires on the outside here. As you can see, I still have wires sticking out just because I haven't went ahead and soldered the wires on the inner part here. So my next step is to identify each wire for each queue here and then solder each wire on this end here for each queue just so I can easily match them. Once I have that done, then I'll be posting a final product and also testing how it functions and works as well. This is what it currently looks like with the wires connected to the, the uh, quick um, quick plug terminal. There you can see I wired each um, Q to a terminal clip over here, as you can see, and I have my solder gun ready to solder these parts here, and then it will be all finished. Let me go ahead and close the case just to show you what it currently looks like. There it is. So I'll be soldering and then I'll be doing a testing for you guys. So this is what the full final modification looks like. As you can see, I have some tape over the parts here just so there's no um, short circuit taking place because you know short circuit can possibly set your fireworks off if things aren't you know covered so this is what the final products looks like guys this is the case with the terminal stuff here I might put a label here of everything you know from 1 through 18 I might put everything um, numbered so I'll be doing a testing for you soon just so you can see how it works and how it um, functions and fires as well. So this is my modification Pelican case with the Ignite firing system. Hey guys, I have my module turned on as you can see right there with the blue light. And I have five igniters connected to the module. And this is my little testing now to see how it functions. As you can see, I have the um, cues lit up here, 1, 6, 9, 13, and 18, as you can see here as well, 1, 6, 9, 13, and 18 connected. And I'm going to go ahead and test these. So let's go ahead to the free shoot. I have number 1 selected, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on number 1, and you will see it fire right away. There you go. Now I have Q6 selected. There you go. Now I have no Q number 9 selected. As you can see, each of them is firing right away. Let's back up a little bit so you can see it for yourself. Let's hit Q number 13. And finally, Q number 18. So it works perfectly, flawlessly, instant ignition. So as soon as I hit these, as you can see, they fire right away. I'm going to be using this rig for my fireworks from now on. It's secure, it's protected in a nice hard pelican case. And I can easily clip on my igniters here to the front. I can easily do that. Sometimes with the quick plug, the quick plug is nice, but it's a little hassle removing and inserting each time. And I don't want to damage the um you know the quick plug on the firing system itself here. So I rather have it wired where I do not have to plug on or plug off each time. I can easily access it from the front right here. So that's the reason why I modified this case so it can work 
the way how I want it to work. Thank you for watching. If there's anything that you'd like to ask about this case, feel free to ask away in the comments. Please hit the subscribe button. I'll be coming up with some more fireworks video. And thank you for watching all the way to the end.